Hello all, so I am back again with a set of core company recruitment opportunities. So here uh, we are going to exclusively see recruitment updates from Intel company. There is a bunch of opportunities available currently in Intel and these are applicable for freshers and also for experienced candidates. Internships is available, full time opportunities is available. Mostly all streams of education are eligible for this. We will be, uh, we'll be seeing actually different categories of uh, recruitment opportunities and all of them are from Intel. Okay. One more thing I want to mention here is our resume reviews are again active uh, on the Instagram handle. If you are interested in that, please uh, go to the Instagram, DM me the uh, resume and we'll be talking about that over there. Okay. So let us first have a look on the recruitment opportunities. The first one is intern recruitment from Intel. Intern graduate recruitment from uh, Intel for uh, Bangalore, Karnataka location. This is an internship uh, job or a student job. Work mode is hybrid. The requirement is also basic, like minimum qualification required initially will be here. Uh, they have given that you should be having uh, a relevant uh, job experience, internship experience, all school work. The requirement is MEM tech. Okay. So, minimum qualification they have mentioned here is MEM tech that is from electronics field or electrical computer science or IT. These are the streams that they are looking for in the uh, intern. So, this is intern graduate and the requirement is MEM tech you should be having. Now, the next one is uh, again for freshers only. So, that is physical design engineer. Physical designing means uh, here it is uh, creating of layouts for chips, uh, planning the components. Those are the job of a physical design engineer. So, physical design means mainly creating of layouts for the chips. Okay. Bangalore, Karnataka, India is the location. This is a contract employee, job opportunity and work board is hybrid. Experience level is contract. So, if you are from B B Tech, you can apply for this and you don't need to have an experience. You should be possessing a B B Tech equivalent or equivalent technical degree in electronics, electrical experience with knowledge of layout designing, experience skills, additional qualification include proficiency in multi-level layout designing, which include data path, register files and standard cells. The design proficiency in floor planning activities, which include FB unit, level assembly routing and integration of custom blocks. So, this is like, yeah, if you are an electronics engineer, you should be knowing that yeah, in order to create a specific chip, we have to design its layout, we have to place the components and like that. So, the job of a physical design engineer is to create the layout and placing of components and designing a chip basically. So, that is the job. If you are interested, please apply. You don't need to have an experience here. Now, designing uh, of layout, so all those things we learn in our uh, engineering course itself. Okay. So, that is the second opportunity. Next one is not a uh, core or a technical job. It is a non-technical job. That is business HR partner. It is a human resources based job and the requirement is also specific to that. Okay. Minimum qualification required to be con initially considered for this position is preferred qualification are in addition to the minimum requirements and are considered as a plus factor for the identifying top candidates. Minimum qualification means you should be having MBA in Tier 1, Tier 2 and Tier 3 institutes with 1 to 3 year of HR experience in relevant industry, banking, F, uh, MCG, product companies. Now the preferred qualification is hands-on experience in HR partnering with minimum 1 to 2 year of uh, years requirements is listed. Okay, so you should be having uh, the experience they have mentioned is you should be having relevant job experience or internship experience or school or class research experience. So, if any of this experience you have, all those experience count. Okay. So, you don't need to have a company experience that is not a must. If you have done something in your school or class, so something similar to this or if you have an internship experience, all those things counts. That is the requirement. Okay. So, minimum qualification is MBA and related domains. So, that is the third recruitment update which is from Intel. The fourth one uh, recruitment we are seeing is compiler engineer. Okay. Bangalore, Karnataka, uh, hybrid mode of working. Let's see what is the requirement. Bachelor degree with 3 plus years of experience, master degree with 2 plus or PhD with a experience in compiler development. Degree must be in computer science, computer engineering, 
electrical engineering, physics, maths, computer, uh, computational science or related technical discipline. 2 plus years of experience in C, C++ object oriented programming. So if you are having an experience in uh, like compiler development, we all know about compilers. Compilers are tools that is used for you know, compiling the language in order to make a programming language, whatever programming language uh, it is, to make it in a machine understandable form, we always go for compilers. So, if you have uh, some similar experience in compiler development or its associated areas, then uh, you can uh, apply for this. If you have a bachelor degree in the given uh, streams with a 3 plus year of experience or if you have a 2 plus year of experience after masters or you just have a PhD, I mean, or you just have uh, like or you have a PhD and if you have, have a just an experience in compiler development you can apply two plus years of experience in C C++ object oriented programming will be considered as a preference okay so these are the requirements if you are having uh, any of this experience if you have done something in the compiler uh, area or domain you can apply for this the last recruitment we are going to see in today's video is from uh, system software engineer that is is for system software engineer bangalore karnataka all these opportunities are available for bangalore karnataka because we know that intel is available in bangalore hyderabad uh, mainly these two cities also in chennai but uh, most of the recruitments or they uh, they frequently hire for uh, bangalore location so most of the opportunities will be available for bangalore and if you are uh, observing bangalore you can see most of the electronic companies have their branches over there so, if you could migrate to uh, or if you could relocate to uh, Bangalore and if you are interested in working with a core company, then finding opportunities will be easier for you. Okay. System software engineer, Bangalore, Karnataka, uh, work mode is hybrid. Let's have a look. The requirement is like a big uh, paragraph they have mentioned. So, let's try to break it down. Bachelor degree, master degree in electrical engineering, electronics. Computer Engineering from Tier 1 Reputed University or Institute with specialization in Computer Architecture and Programming with 2 plus years of experience in solving complex problem in Embedded and host Software Development. So, if you have a degree in any of these areas from Tier 1 Institutes, in my opinion, if you are not belonging to Tier 1 Institute, also you should apply if you have the relevant qualification and the skills. Okay. So, if you have like a 2 plus years of experience in Embedded Development, and if you have proficiency in C, embedded C, C++ with Linux as a preferred operating system. If you have experience in this, that is C, C++, embedded C with the Linux operating system. Experience in Python, shell, scripts, validation, automation. Experience with integration, release of embedded and host software uh, and software development like lifecycle. So, these are the requirements. So, basically you can say if you have an experience in embedded domain or embedded development with uh, operating system knowledge preferred as linux if you have a linux operating system experience then that is the requirement here okay so they have given like two plus year of experience in any of this domains mainly embedded if you have an experience in embedded then definitely apply for this so we have seen an internship opportunity we have seen fresher opportunity an hr related opportunity and mostly two experienced uh, opportunities or experienced candidate opportunities from intel all the links are in the description please go to the links start applying uh, and please try to read out the requirements based on that you can do trainings you can do free trainings in udemy and all those platforms that's all for today's video i'm really hoping that you found the content useful if yes please subscribe to the channel like the video share the video with your friends thanks for watching keep on watching